This time we'll look at this program called Trash CLI, and the reason why I recommend this over some of the other people will tell me to use RM or the move command if you want to delete something, which in my opinion is not the proper way you're supposed to do it. Um, I actually you know, recommend using Trash uh, because that makes more sense to me. Anyways, uh, the reason why I don't use the RM command is the RM command is actually a permanent delete, and that's not what I want to do you know let's say you do it by accident then I mean you could restore it but you have to use some extra programs and it takes a long time so that's why I don't like using the RM command if you know accidentally delete something and with the move command you know the uh, the was an MV command I don't like that either because before I was actually using that and you know you send it to your trash location which is kind of stupid too because let's say you have external drives and you send it to the trash can it takes a long time now with small files you won't notice it but let's say a movie file or something you send it to the trash can it takes a long time and inconvenience all right so the trash command it actually emulates kind of like the delete key and um, that's what I would recommend okay anyways I'll show you it off here we'll jump into our uh, download folder list out some files that we want to delete and we go trash and you can delete let's say we want to delete this mp3 file here uh, and you send it to the trash right uh, you can do that for multiples also as you go trash and let's say we want to use we want to delete this one right maybe uh, let's delete this one and maybe this one also so you can do multiples if you want at one time and I'll delete it all right or let's list it out again let's say you want to delete all the uh, OGV files we can go trash and we'll do the wildcard and we'll do OGV and now delete all those or send it to the trash can I say all right so you can do that for files folders whatever it is or let's say you want to delete all of it we go trash and a star and then the whole folder uh, you know has nothing now um, if you want to check your you know whatever's in your bin that you've deleted from uh, this trash program you can go list uh, dash trash and it'll give you a list of what's in there right so all the stuff that we just deleted is now here uh, gives you a time and date and everything and the location of it uh, let's say you want to restore it. You can actually type in restore dash trash and it'll give you a list of what you want to restore. So let's say I want to restore, uh, let's pick something out. Let's say, I don't know, this spell checking video or something. So that's zero, right? And if you want to restore another one, say for example, we want to restore this uh, folder here. So that's 12. And now we list it out. Those are the two things that we restore. And um, all these other files is actually still in your trash. So if you want to go in your trash and restore it that way, you can do that too. All right. So all these files that we deleted, we can restore it that way too if you want. Uh, what is that? Restore here. All right. If you want to use the GUI for that, you can do that too. But you can list it out that the ones that we restore there. And let's say you want to delete from here, or like empty your trash bin at me. So we'll clear this here. If you want to empty your trash bin, because right now we're in our list, we have um, this. I think it deletes all the things in your trash bin. But the way that you empty is just type empty trash, and it should uh, you know be empty now. So we we'll list it out again. It's empty. Let's check if this is empty also. No, it just deletes the ones that um, you know you use with the commands. Okay, so whatever you, you use with this command, that's what it will empty, and uh, that's just how that works. And it's a good way to restore it if you know you you ever need to get it back if you accidentally uh, delete it. Um, so that's the commands that I would recommend if you want to delete your stuff from the terminal. I would say, and it's in your repositories. Was it aptitude search? Um, it's not called trash. It's called trash dash cli, right? And this is what you want to uh, install. 
in the future, I think they're gonna change some of these around. Like, I think it's called trash dash put and trash dash list, trash dash empty. I'm not sure when that change is gonna happen or if it's gonna happen, but in the future it might change. All right, but as of right now, these are the commands that they use. Um, so check it out. Much better than using, you know, the RM or the move command or whatever it is. So that that'd be it for this one.